These are the new aluminum wings that Sut um, designed. Actually, um, he made these blades and he's lending me this 175 to do some testing. All right, this is the little buck boost um, circuit I made. That's the, the boost portion right there, caps and diodes feeding the positive. Negative leg just returns to the rectifier, which is here. I'm using these uh, two 4700 microfarad capacitors to store voltage, and the voltage here has to rise to anywhere from 2 to 10 volts above this 24 volt. And I control the duty cycle with this little potentiometer. So I'm running through two power transistors, they're 3055. Um, power goes through the battery, through this toroid, back, and it has to go through the collector emitter back to the capacitors. Um, this little diode indicates when the circuit's running. I'm not sure if you can see that little diode, it'll flash. I mean, we're barely getting enough wind to activate the system. And this is running through the boost right now. There's not enough wind to uh, kick it up above the, uh, the boost. So we're just getting a little bit of charge in the battery. All right, if I adjust this pot, I can pull more power out. You can see that's starting to blip a lot faster. What that'll do is slow the turbine down a little bit. Puts a little more load on it. Ideally, what I'm, I'm shooting for here is to break this um, voltage. Well, first, um, store it temporarily, and then break it up into kind of a sawtooth blade. The, the flyback runs back through the battery. So every time the field collapses in the coil, um, get a flyback through the, the battery. And we're just trying to break it up. In, in a controlled way and, and buck the higher voltage. I'll show you the voltage on the cap. You'll see it's higher. Right now you can see the voltage on the capacitor is 26, you know, a little over 26. We're getting a little better wind now. We're seeing that start to speed up. I don't know if you can see that. See where our battery's at. It's been a couple minutes. 